This is a Seiko Mecha Quartz chronograph. So the movement itself is quartz, powered by battery, but the chronograph, the stopwatch part, is mechanically controlled. So when I press this button here, I get a really nice sort of tactile feel because it's pushing various levers and hammers and gears inside rather than just pressing an electronic button. It also means that the stopwatch uh, counter there, second counter, is smoothly sweeping around the dial at one fifth of a second intervals, um, unlike the fully quartz uh, seconds uh, hand at the bottom there. The other subdials uh, are a minute counter at the top and an hour counter at the left hand side going up to 12 hours for the whole chronograph. The other thing about a mechanical chronograph is that when I stop it and reset it, it's going to instantly go back to the uh, 12 o'clock position, like that, rather than sort of the motors powering it back. So this model is the 8600C0 and you can get it on the second hand market about the same price as a fully quartz chronograph, which I find really surprising considering it's got the mechanical component. For me, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You've got the accuracy of quartz and then you've got yeah, the lovely sort of mechanical feel there. It also means that Seiko can make it relatively thin. And so let's take a look at this. Uh, yeah, 12 millimeters there. And pretty cheaply uh, produced as well, which is why they're really good value, I think, on the second hand market. Looking at the rest of it, you've got um, a sort of bezel diameter of there we go 40 millimeters although there is about one millimeter just sort of sticking over the edge there where the pushes are the rest of the functions are pretty much as you'd expect so you pull it out two clicks to change the time and then pull the crown out one click to change the date I've got it on a NATO strap here I don't actually have the um, original metal bracelet but I like NATO and I think it matches that black dial. It did come in other um, colored dial variants. I think there was white, silver, ice blue, uh, different sorts. Looking at the back there's nothing really special about the back. Uh, this is from 2016 and as you can see the movement was made in Japan and then they shipped it over to be cased in China. So there you go a quick review of the Seiko 8 c 0 I love the silver edges on those subdials. I love that you can get it so cheaply. But most of all, I love that mechanical chronograph with the accuracy of the quartz movement. <laughs>